I'm, I'm calling this working session to order, and I'm calling it a working session because we don't have a quorum tonight. If we, um, if more members trickle in and we have a quorum, then we'll reevaluate the plan. But for now, um, I propose that we table the agenda we had for tonight until our next meeting and use some time tonight, we can have a short meeting, um, to deal with what was item eight, um, which is to talk briefly about the, the city plan, the, the milestones that we've already, um, that we identify the milestones towards completion that we have uh, right now, and then discuss what we learned from sustainable Montpelier Coalition and what our next steps are going forward. Does that sound okay to everyone? It's kind of a fun discussion. Yeah. So, okay. So, um, Mike, you put the first part on the agenda. So let's talk about what you wanted to talk about and then we can dive into the part. So you, you had, I don't know if it was just the way you worded it, but it looked, identify this year's milestones toward completion. Did you have particular items in mind? Us. Uh, or is it more of a general? Yeah, there was, I mean, it, some of it was more of a general. I mean, we all want to <clears throat> get this going. We know we've got up to maybe 12 sections. We talked about kind of attacking this yeah. plan in a number of ways, and if we kind of come up to a consensus of what we think we want to how we want to go after it, I can start pulling things together and then people can react to it, um, which is okay. kind of what I think. So if we've got, you know, 10 or 12 chapters we're eventually going to want, you know, I can just start putting together, um, you know, I think eventually we'll want, our goal was to have a short chapter with implementation yep. and I think, you know, we can start pulling together the resources, um, we can get the, the links on the website and then we can just start building some chapters when you say resources are you talking about um, background materials to review background materials for for some of them because okay. I think what what we want to be able to do is to digest our plans down into something that people are more likely to read and use so we're looking at you know 1500 words 2,000 words mm -hmm. Um, total total for a chapter but because oh, there's so chapter. much information that you need we're really going to be referencing a number of, of other documents so if people want more they can start drilling down into them but you know to understand you know these are housing goals these are housing needs or these are this is why housing is important we we have six or seven housing reports that have been done since 2000 we don't need to restate those if we just go through and, yeah. you know, the housing need report from 2014 identified six things, you know, and this yeah. is what we found. Yeah. And then just put a link on it. But we will need to have those documents. I have them on mine, and I assume yeah. ship sure. them to the Google Drive or I can keep them yeah. on the iDrive here at the server. Be good to have them all together. Yeah, I think if you want to if load up as much as you so can. If, yeah, and if people, you know, want yeah, to look same. at them, we can do that. Um, and so that was my thought, was I would just start pulling together some of these short chapters and then and, and some of these, these implementation plans, just, you know, as, as thought through as much as we can, and then we can start, you know, deciding... Um, rolling out, do, you know, how, going out to the various committees to start getting things. Because it sounded like rather than doing a couple at a time, we were like, let's put it in together. What are the implementation plans and where are those coming from? Those should be coming a lot more from the committees. The committees but I okay. think we need to start with a framework. Some, some you know, with housing and energy are two that so have very well we developed plans our and we're refining it. Examples. But I think it would be easier for places like the Conservation Commission or, the, or these other ones who haven't put them together to kind of be given a framework of, mm -hmm. here it yeah. is, you know, massage this, change this, but here's here's the overall outline and structure that we're looking for and they can we can help them work their way through um, some other things. I know I met with the Parks Commission Today's Monday, so it would have been Friday. 
um, a member, a, a newer member of the Parks Commission who is very excited about the opportunity to, to look at these. So I think we've got, you know, parks will be another one, mm -hmm. uh, community services, utilities and facilities, transportation. There's just a lot of, a lot of chapters that I can start pulling together resources on and, and put together, as I said, for, for a couple thousand words. So one thing I think we should do before we get into the weeds of drafting chapters and implementation plans is talk as a, a commission about um, the big picture, I mean, the, sort of the land use map that we, we see for the city. And we have all of these goals that we heard from all of the committees at the all committee kickoff meeting. We have the sort of ideas that the Sustainable Montpelier Coalition uh, provided for us. And maybe we could look at some of those maps and, and think about um, I, I just like us to have kind of a broader discussion about what kind of transportation goals do we have and what are the ideas that we've been presented with and are those does that do those seem reasonable to us do we want to do we have questions to kick back to some of the committees about the goals I think we should spend more time shaping the goals up front just to make sure you know we feel like we fully understand the bounds of the goal and and then once we feel like we agree with the goals they make sense within the broader context of the city plan and sort of the land use map I like the map so I like the idea of a map because I'm very visual but however it is you want to look at it and then and then from there they could go forward and do the work you know knowing that we agree with the direction they're they're going in and we don't have any issues with it that's kind of how I was thinking we could be more productive, but I've never done this before, and Mikey and John, you have, so. Yeah, one thing to keep in mind is the, the city has a new tool, um, our JS Hub, that they're using for a couple of a couple of things, like snow mm -hmm. plow tracking, and I'm not sure what else, but one of the, the things that it does well and that we should use it for is for gathering input, basically. So oh, yeah. we'll be able to put up a you know map that has a number of, we can decide what layers we want on there, zoning districts, you know, the river corridors, et cetera. Um, and then have people, you know, just comment on it. Um, and I think if we just provide uh, a good amount of guidance or an intro on it, that'll be a good way to capture uh, feedback and input from people at a citywide level. Um, and, and we started to do this, and we can pick up where we left off, but uh, I like the idea of framing it in the terms of, of what do we want to maintain about Montpelier, what do we want to just you know evolve and improve, and what do we need to transform? Mm -hmm. And where we're framing it in terms of like yeah. And if what we have our neighborhoods, I was thinking the same thing. And if we had our neighborhoods layer on there, people could go and you know yeah. describe what M, what the MET is, and go through each one of the, the three and see what people vote up for maintaining and what people vote to enhance or so what, what people we, think need to get transformed. How can we put this together? How does it? I mean, this is sort of like way beyond my ability to conceptualize. So can you walk me through how this might work? Yeah, uh, I mean, for that, it'll be easier just to do it and, sh and show the Yeah, when, the, when, it, when, the, enhance, when the access Montpelier comes online for people to view, it's not online yet. When it comes online, it will then, then it'll be easier to show. Yeah, okay. I, that, I, that's what that is, the access Montpelier? That's the... the uh, GIS hub. Yeah, but what does the GIS, GIS hub do? It lets you... I mean, it, the goal out of Esri was to contextualize information, so they were good at mapping, and but they weren't good at kind of putting a story behind it, so their goal was to help um, be able to explain the data or show the data um, so I think the, the first one Stone Environmental did was to put together one for the snow plowing and, you know, what are the snow plow routes and how long does it take and what are the snow plows and, and who's doing this just so, you know, it educates the public on, you know, it's 7 o'clock, why aren't my, why aren't things plowed yet? But, well, you actually could go in and understand why, 
you know, and you could actually look up, oh, where's the snow plow? Oh, yeah. where's the site? People in my yeah, office love it. About. Yeah, nobody's plowed my street yet. And it's yeah. like, well, actually they did, but here's, or here's why. They, they send a small snow plow out to plow the middle, and then they send this other plow out that oh. plows the edges. So, so all that information would be included, but it's not available yet. I, is it? Can you guys? Are you guys able to? Were you guys able to see it? I have not looked I don't for think it. So I've, I saw the really draft good. of it, or you might be able to see part. My of it, understanding but, uh, was it wasn't rolled out yet, but the goal was that by telling a story, by putting together storyboards, you can start to explain to the public or your audience different things about the data uh -huh. so that way the data has some meaning it's not just a number yeah. um, it, it helps to explain aside from that though data. just like on a basic yeah. level the functionality allows people to just create an account if they want and interact or like contribute so they can see we can see they can go and start putting points on a map or drawing things on a map and saying you know I'm interested in this happening or yeah, there's the push out of information, and then there's also the take in of information. So there, Stone is actually working to do kind of a, you've heard of the point, shoot, click for, for problems. Well, they're, they're going to have something like that for the city. So you see a pothole, you can take a picture of the pothole and, and send it to the city via this like the ones on any state. Yeah, yeah you can <laughs> click it, and yeah. then it'll it'll send a marker, and it'll get. And they're they're just trying to work to make sure it connects in with the existing work sheet system that we have, because we already have a, a work program for the DPW. So we're just trying to make sure that in the background we've got connections. So when people do that, it'll automatically get put into a queue that will notify somebody at DPW that there's a pothole. Would the existing work plan that DPW has be accessible by the people who are inputting or looking at this? I don't, I don't know, no. Usually it's, usually what it is is it's just going to go into the queue. You don't... It's an information gathering kind of thing. There's an information gathering portal and then there's an information put out. It kind of works in both mm -hmm. directions so people can... So once we have this, you're talking about sending it out to the public. Um, we, we, we just send it out as is and, and give people a deadline to provide okay. feedback. Feedback on what, though? I mean, they, you know, what's the structure? They're going to be it depends what the question is, I think. I think mm -hmm. if there's a question that is helpful for getting input on, whether it's a goal, um, whether it's the, the, the vision, the goal, or one of the tasks, or um, you can put it out to get input. I mean, if there's an aspect of the sustainable Montpelier that we want to see what the public thinks of it, we could put it out there as a, as a question. We could put general things out, as John was saying. You know, are there parts of town that you think should be maintained as they are? Are there parts of town you think should be transformed? Oh. Yeah, I think as, uh, when we, we could just go out to wherever and say, what are, what's your favorite thing about Montpelier? And if you could change anything about Montpelier, what would it be? Can you put this on a map? Um, and then there are... Can you put this on the map is the hard question. Yeah, really, because I think most people won't be able to make that transition. But if they can just give us that information, then, you know, we can look at it on the map. Yeah, I think it's important, though, to make it real. Yeah, oh, no, we can make it real. To right. put it on a map, because right. otherwise... But for people who are not, you know, familiar and don't work with maps all the time, it's, it's, a, it's a big leap to... Uh, I was thinking it's more of a big leap because a lot of the things that I'm hearing from people about what they love about Montpelier are sort of more like value systems. Yeah, right. and yeah that's true. So the actually translating that into a tangible structure or plan is... Or, yeah, some aspect. But I think that's why that step is critical. But we have a lot of things that... Th there's the land use plan and there's the nuts and bolts parts of our city plan, but there are also, um, you know... It may come up that we now have a committee for inclusive and equitable, something like that. A committee, so a committee for, for equitable and sustainable, or something. Um, and so we may have policies that do reflect some of those other less brick and mortar 
Yeah, okay. not, everything will, not everything yeah. has to fit into a... Yeah. Well, you could maybe ask them to express it in such a way that it has some tangible example in the city or some tangible manifestation. They like to be able to walk to the elementary school. You know, that's because they you know, live close enough, and that's part of the aspect. I don't know. Um, I just, I'm just not clear about when we go out to the public and ask this. Do we try to mm. gather goals together and then <clears throat> get them to react? I think we should do it early and then reassess the goals and then do it again. We should do it in tandem, I think. In tandem with what? With our developing goals or act? Yeah, or act I mean, we, we create this, go out and collect, give people a way to participate and give us information um, as we work through this. I guess if people have a way of signing up for it to get things, we could always go, as we put things online, people can get a notification right, that notified. something, yeah, things have, things have changed, a survey has been put up, you know, I don't know how Maybe complex we can make it, but I mean, just something as simple as, you know, it, uh, you know, the draft revised plan for transportation has been put up. If you want to view it, you know, a survey question has been put up by the Energy Committee regarding X. Yeah, I think you know, it would be maybe a tutorial for the public in terms of how they could input onto this and, and um, you know, we'll actually physically do it and, um, and what it means to us, how it's going to give us input. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just concerned about just sort of going out at the very beginning in a very broad-based way because people tend to be able to react better to something that actually they can look at, something that they... Um, well, it depends on the question, I think. Yeah, well, we ha I mean, they, we have to have, um, you know, a pretty distinct questionnaire. And was that something that was being worked on before? The, what was the questionnaire that was being worked on before? Well... I think we put that aside, but it was something about it was it was the same concept. Yeah. Yeah, we started with the committees and yeah. asked them something along those lines. But I think we we can frame it in a way that's uh, approachable and that results in some useful information without putting it out there. Or I would be concerned about you know leading too many like leading questions for people to react to or. Starting with the plan and then asking people to help us plan. Yeah. No, no, no. Just starting with well, sort of maybe giving them options, you know, so that that can kind of generate the conversation. Yeah. Well, I think we should be the first ones to go on this map and actually put stuff on. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. I thought maybe maybe we, we should do that exercise here. Current, so. yeah, just so we can learn how learn how it works, and, mm -hmm. and because people are going to ask us, and so we've had the opportunity to put it together and put it out. Yeah, we have to make sure it works, and yeah. then no one wants to be the first person, right? Right. So let's there put stuff on be, there. Yeah. Yeah, and then we can also debug it too if there's any issues. Yeah, that that's a joke. Thing. And then for people who can't figure it out, we'll send them to Mike's <laughs> office so he can just know, input, it, input it manually. Yeah. <laughs> we can. You know, we could actually have paper ones for someone who wants to just draw on it, and we can add it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be that would be good. Um, but, but I do, I, I agree, I don't think we want to go back and just, I think the 2008-2009 plan was that opportunity for people to really just give you the blank, give you the blank canvas and have the public make the plan. And I think we now need to kind of take those pieces and and start to move those forward. You mean the 2010 plan? The 2010 plan. Oh, okay. Yeah, there was a lot of... Now yeah. the 2017 plan? Yeah, now the 2017 plan. For the original plan. But it's good. I mean, plan. it has good sections in it. I looked at it again more carefully in the last week, and it's definitely... It's yeah. got good information. It's just not implemented. Yeah, it's just not... We, it's, it's got the, the ideas there, and the public input was there, and I think I wouldn't want to go back and say, let's start that that all over again. Um, I would rather just go and try to draw on that to start building new things, to start going, how we can move this forward. And if in the discussion of how we move it forward, we need to go back and amend the aspirations, then we do that. Yeah, we may find that's true because some of the things that were said in that haven't actually happened, as you pointed out. So when, when will Access Montpelier be live? 
Or when can we use it is really the question I'm looking for. Uh, I think it's going to be a little bit Zach, who is kind of running it in-house, uh, is out on paternity. So uh, he's going to be pretty busy because um, he's only working one day a week in the office. So I, I wouldn't expect us to be able to start using him too much till um, later, May, June, maybe. But so for now, we, I think... We, but it won't take long to get from where we are now, March to May. Yeah, so we're yeah. talking about two months where we can develop stuff on the Google Drive. Um, so for now, you're going to start putting together those resources all in one place so we can look at them. Um, maybe at the next meeting, we can walk through the Google Drive and the template that the Energy Committee um, piece I put together. That sounds good. And then, depending on how that looks, we can take, I'm sure it'll probably need a few oh. revisions yeah. so we can revise them between now and then. And then maybe also, if we want to come up with a big picture timeline with some of those milestones or yeah, that's that's what I was just thinking. Of. If we just had an idea of what we what we wanted to accomplish by when, then I can start rolling that back and, and starting to to push where we need to push to to make it. And Mike, when you're gathering the information together, you know we had the meeting with the Regional Planning Commission about land use policies relating to transportation. Um, you would bring together all those land use studies, whatever, the designated downtown, the growth study, and all of those would be referenced. Yeah, anything resources. that we're missing, people, I mean, that's where we would go and have, you know, any things that you guys would have that, that maybe I don't have or I miss, we should make sure we get it, and if it needs to be referenced, we should reference it. Um, because that's really the hope, is that people who really have an interest can, can drill down on the information, but for those people who want to just understand the big picture, Here's yeah, our goal for our transportation exactly. network to have complete streets. Yeah. And here are the tasks that we're going to do to, to have our complete streets. And if people really want to understand the energy transportation linkage, they might have a report that they can. Yeah, jump but I think into. we have hot links to go to all of those yep. studies, like the ones that I just discovered. You know, I didn't really know were there. So there are definitely some. So would you start to develop a list for us to look at of these? Resources. I don't think you guys have to necessarily look at the resources. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I just it's mean, one I mean, just the titles of them so we can point out. Well, they'll be on the Google Drive. Yeah, that's so you'll see a list. To pile them into the Google Drive, um, you know, in PDF format. So that way, hopefully, it's something that you can start looking at to go and say, I, you, I don't see the 2012 report. Well, I think, I mean, I think I don't have in the at the next meeting when we walk through Google Drive and the template, and set up our timelines. We will be able to set up more detailed goals, like everybody should review all of the housing documents for the next meeting, and we're gonna come in and, and give you know, our thoughts on housing, or something like, we can find a way to break it down into manageable chunks. Because we really, I think, need to deal with this, treat this like eating an elephant, like one, yeah. one bite at a time, because it's a, a quite a lot. Eating an elephant. <laughs> Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to, to start that, is, um, <laughs> simile, and I thought it was apt. And, I, and I'm trying to get to 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 figure out how to start to set that up, um, because it's it is going to be a big lift. And what should I be kind of tackling first on, you know, developing the work, the the implementation plan for everybody, and then we'll work on the chapter summaries or just put both pieces together and get them both moving at the same time and. Yeah. Well, so you typed up the goals that we were provided by the various committees, right? The three goals. Yeah. So we should get those on the drive. You know? Yeah, I think they're in there. I think they're on okay. there. Okay, yeah. I didn't look at it again. Yeah. Um, and then all the... But I'll start, like I said, I'll start putting things in and then... And if you can make folders, like housing, and then Please. put everything housing yes. in there. And transportation, everything transportation in there. It just, it'll help us go through the documents. Yeah, I'll email yes. you if I have any questions on it. This is still a little bit of a learning curve. It should be pretty straightforward, I think. Yeah, you can't do too much damage, so <laughs> do whatever you can and you can fix it if it doesn't work. Yeah. What's nice about it is everything is, uh, what's called quid based. So everything has a unique ID and all the files are, the folders are, have a unique ID. So you can 
remove them, you can change their name, you can do all, whatever you want, and that link will still oh. be based on that unique ID. So you can keep rearranging things or create a different view of them. And you can have, a let's say, a document should go in a transportation and a housing one. You could have it show up in both, even though it's still pulling from that unique ID. Uh, you'll have to so you can't it. ever break the link, is what you're telling me. Right, or it's really hard to. As long as you've to. established an ID for it, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to mix that up. It would always show up where it was referenced. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, that'll happen, yeah. Okay. Well, this sounds like a good plan. Let's go home. Um, oh, sorry, I had one other question about this, Mike. So when you're gathering stuff together, would things like the proposals for the Confluence Park, would that kind of thing be something you would include as well, even though it's not an adopted plan? Let's get it it's all the, in there. It's the city I know, I, plan. I think so it's the too. city plan. It's whatever pe wherever people want to go, whatever people think is helpful. I mean, it may be a plan that only gets referenced as an example of a potential. Right, sure. Um, it might not go and say, we're going to do this because it's still a draft, but it may be something that goes and says, you know, there are a lot of things that we could do to increase public access to our riverfront and to in, to give the population an opportunity to engage. For example, the River Conservancy developed three plans. Yeah, and here they are. And the city is going to be working over the next couple of years to, to implement one of these. I think it might just be... You can't even be over inclusive. Yep. And I don't. I don't think I have. I'm. I have to be the only one to put it in. As long as the folders are there, you know, you're no, welcome sure. to, to yeah, populate. Yeah, but I just wanted to get the parameters in terms of, and then also for the design competition. I mean, do we? In, what information from those do we try and input, if any? I think we'll just have to put, put everything in there, and then you'll look at this whole body of work as a whole, and we can draw from all of their strengths. Okay, I'll check with the Sustainable Montpelier Coalition and see. I mean, I guess we could just, actually, we can just link the Net Zero Vermont website to get to those documents. Yeah, yes. you can link to websites right. if, you, if you want or if there's a on the page, yeah. Yeah, I think we already have all that. You have the link to the web, to the Net Zero I don't know, website. I'm going to go look, but I, I remember yeah. John saying yeah, that we already I had. I know, I have the link, I don't know if it's in the... Google I think it'll put it on the line page, but yeah. but if not, we can get it in there. No, okay. I'm just Dan, I'm sure we'll be how to you know put these things together. Some of the things that are more graphic, yeah, rather I think, than written. Yeah, and I think some of it is comes down to to. I don't necessarily think no if the the sustainable Montpelier will drive uh, of of the net zero Vermont competition would drive the goals more than if we've got these goals, we're going to probably be looking to these five finalists for how we plan to get there. Yeah, we want to transform our riverfront. If our thing is we need to be transformational on our riverfronts, we've got five great examples of how to be transformational. Okay, yeah, that's great. Yeah. And if people are like, we want to maintain it, we don't want to change anything, well, here we are, we have our channels. We have our channels, we want to keep them just like that. Despite the fact they're kind of falling down, but whatever. Yeah. Oh. Okay. If you keep going down, I think you might find like Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the main page here, if you type in mockp.city, you scroll down and there are some links here, you see? Actually, where? Okay. So there's the energy. And then the MIAC is linked, Net Zero Montpelier blog is linked, resources, VCAN, Net Zero Montpelier, Net, Net Zero. Zero Vermont, and Orca Media. Oh, and the presentation. YouTube clip from the Net Zero Vermont presentation, Five Team Bridges. Oh, wait. It was embedded. Okay. Yep. But we don't want just Team Bridges. We're going to want a We can one. add everything you want. No, 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 I, I know, but I'm just I'm just trying to sort of figure out. So if that's the... I just put this in as an example. Yeah, so we can't or a cut. Um, yeah, and then we can just start dropping stuff in. And if something doesn't get used, it doesn't get used. It's just yeah, because I mean, it's if, there, we've got something to... Maybe from the next year of Vermont um, uh, link. Just, because a lot of it, the written information is 
and email emails. Yeah, and our eventual goal, as we said, is just to kind of get this down to where every chapter ends up down to 1,500, maybe 3,000 words tops. And then it just links to And it's going to link to a lot of things so people don't have to um, migrate through yes. a, a pile of data right. and things. We really want right. to tell, we want to tell a story. and. Um, we've got to meet our statutory obligations, but we really want to go and engage people by telling a story of what it is that we're trying to do, why it's important, yeah. and how you can participate. And so the implementation part of that would not be would, much more structured. It would not be part of that 1,500 to 3,000. No, that'll so, be separate. Okay. Yeah, I misunderstood from before. Yeah, okay. no, the, the, there should be just a written part. We have to have a written part that kind of lays this out. And whether it's just a web page, you know, John and I were talking, do we need to actually have a written document? For what? For our legal plan. Or can we get away with doing a web-based plan? Oh, 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 you mean like... So I was just thinking, we should, I think we should adjourn, and if you have more, I mean, the, yeah. you sound like you have more discussions, but we can let John go home and... Um, well, you you're ready to go. And I think all all four of us are ready to go. I think we are. <laughs> so. You're not feeling well, and i got to drive back to Hartford. Yeah. So, so thanks right. for coming in, everybody, and we'll adjourn for this work working session. Okay. Thank you. Right, are you guys done for the evening? Yeah. yeah. We are